Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to enable customized animated boot logos on your iPhone, iPod Touch, or your first generation iPad that is jailbroken on 4.3.1. Now I made a video very similar to this for iOS 4.2.1 when uh, they actually used Green Poison to do it. Well, if you guys watched my most recent jailbreak video, I made two on the latest version of uh, Red Snow, and the first one was obviously the first jailbreak break for iOS 4.3.1 that was untethered and the second one was kind of just an update and I showed you guys how to jailbreak and I also mentioned that you could indeed allow for customized animated boot logos. Well a lot of you were saying that you were having trouble doing it so now I'm just making this video to actually again just show you guys how to do it. So uh, if you haven't already done it then be sure to jailbreak. I will have a link down below in the more info where you guys can check it out. Also, if you already have jailbroken and you didn't allow for boot animation, then just be sure to open back up Red Snow and uh, this time just check allow boot animation and do not check anything else. So that means do not check install Cydia. Just check the box that says allow boot animation and then continue and then you should be good to go. It also says that you can just go inside of settings and then boot logo. Well, I'm just going to show you guys right here that I do not have it inside of my settings application. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and scroll down and it would be right here, right after activator on mine because obviously it is in alphabetical order after all of the standard ones. So I do not have anything that is called boot logo. So I'm going to show you guys how to actually fix that. Now it's really simple. It actually says it when you do check allow boot animation in Red Snow. But if you didn't see it or maybe you were a little bit confused by it, I'm going to show you how to do it. So basically just open up Cydia and just simply wait for it to finish doing what it normally does. And then you can go to sections at the bottom and then just be sure to go to add-ons boot logo. So I'm going to bring it up close to the camera there, add-ons boot logo. And then here you can just pick any boot logo. I'm just going to uh, pick a random one just for the sake of this video. So I'm just going to go ahead and stop and do mod my eye boot logo. It's pretty interesting that I landed on that one, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and hit install and confirm. And then uh, once it is finished, it will give you the option to actually have that boot logo setting again in your settings application. And then you can obviously enable as many customized animated boot logos as you want. So then it just says return to Cydia. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, exit out to my home screen for my iPhone here. And uh, now just simply go into settings. And as you can see, we do have boot logo now. And then you can pick uh, the custom boot logo that you have installed. And you can also preview it too. So that's what it would look like. And uh, if you want to just do the Apple logo, then you can set that. The normal Chronic Dev Team logo, then you can do that as well. So again, I hope you guys liked this video and I hope it helped you and you found it useful. So just be sure to let me know what you think down below in the comment section and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed for more great videos. So until next time, this is ICU signing out.